Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Uh, our new terminal is in action. Lots of planes, well, not lots of planes, but planes coming in and out. Um, this little one-way um, taxiway setup is working pretty well. Uh, we can do, yeah, see about doing something else. Um, so someone's given me some comments around um, actually adding or, or assigning staff members, but uh, it's not from here. So playing around a little bit, if you toggle the terminals, it seems like here you can now actually assign, um, you can now actually assign people. Um, so that's good. That's good to know. Uh, I believe, let's have another look. Can we also do the same? Uh, no, let's not delay it. Can we also do the same here? Yeah, seemingly we can. So we can actually assign um, vehicles this way also, uh, which is interesting because I thought you just assigned them via the... Um, via the uh, the parking spot, the depot, or some something the likes. Now, what we can do, let's pause for a second while we quickly look at things here. So, at the moment, you can click here, you can see all your staff, uh, or you can go by terminal. So, terminal one has 19 hired um, passenger service agents and only 12 jobs claimed. Um, so, and 33 security office, 25 claimed, 16 janitors, four jobs claimed. Um, technicians, plenty of technicians, and then the ramp agents, 22 um, with 12 jobs claimed. Now, now, the jobs claim doesn't necessarily mean we don't need more. It just means that at the moment, that's the situation. So let's go over here. At the very least, I'm going to drop down uh, the janitors a little bit. So let's go to like 10 janitors over there. Uh, ramp agents, I think that's kind of okay. Service technicians, definitely going to jump that down a little bit. And okay. How many security do we actually need? We need one, two, three, four, five, five, five. So that's 15, 19. Uh, and if we go downstairs there, that's 20. We need 20 security officers, plus obviously a bit of a buffer. I'm going to trim that back to like 30. Passenger service agents, I'm also going to drum down to about 15. What is this? Administrators to a terminal. Mm, interesting. I do wonder where they are. Now, if we go over here, I'm going to up our game a little bit with the passenger service guys. I'm going to add a few more security people. I'm going to add ooh, yeah, a bunch of janitors and a bunch of these guys. And of course, what we can do is we can we can add more otherwise. So that's the, let's just do one janitor. Well, one janitor there. I do wonder why it's saying um, there's zero available. If we unpause the game, oh yeah, there we go. It needed to uh, it needed to update. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on these things. The same thing we can do with the vehicles. So we've got some vehicles, but now we need to probably assign one of these over there. What is this? An ambulance? Ambulance doesn't necessarily need to be associated with terminal, I think. Neither do the fire trucks. Maybe if we go to vehicles here, I can assign one of those over there. Okay, let's have a quick look. So here we've got one Avgas truck assigned three of these, uh, the jet fuels. Uh, eight baggage, one, one. What is this? Pushback truck for the medium planes, three of them. I guess three of them over there. So it seems pretty reasonable. I think we did a, a pretty decent job at, at managing those things a little bit. Now, let's quickly have a look here. It's saying, yeah, we don't have enough of those. That's okay. Um, and passenger service agents at Terminal 1. Okay, so probably we've got a little bit more to do at in terms of that. So let's just drop that down a little bit. We need more security. That's right. And then here we'll add add, add a couple. Come on. I've reduced the guys here, right? That is interesting. Pause it there. Add add them there, please. And let's uh, see how that works. So some janitor works. So on. anyway, we can uh, obviously continue to to add things. The Afghan truck. I'm not too. Ooh. Okay. We need to extend the terminal. We need to extend the terminal because they're not going over there. Okay. Let's extend the terminal. Terminal 1 to be expanded in this general direction. So now I believe 
the, 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 the track should go and do its thing. I think so. Okay, so that's all good. Now, what are we going to do now? Um, this seems to be working pretty okay. Um, I could look at opening another. Let's just see how our, how our flights are doing for the time being. Our new stands, B1, 2, and 3, and 4, is not fully loaded just yet. So potentially I don't need to open up yet another one already. Um, these are working pretty well. Ooh, ooh, what is that? What is happening with this queuing here? That is a little awkward, it seems. Lots of queuing going on through here. But I think we are managing people through there fairly quickly. And then getting them through here is also not bad. Yeah, I think that's okay. I don't think we need to get much more effective, but we do need... If we're adding the, uh, the additional terminal space, we're definitely going to need, need to do that. Now, let's go down a level and see what we've got going on over here. Yeah, this was very tight. Um, it was definitely very tight. And we've got the staff security piece through here. Okay. And we've got the staff room, of course. Okay, an unknown virus is currently spreading quickly across the borders. So apparently, we, this, this is one of those we can't actually do anything to about it. So the fact that you're dropping speed for it is really weird. Okay, let's pause it a little bit. Flight um, in B3 is being delayed. Why is it being delayed? What is actually going on? Refueling took a bit of time, it seems. Let's have a quick look at the flight in B3 over here. So it was predominantly a refueling issue. So potentially what we need to do is get ourselves an extra vehicle. No, don't don't delay it. Just keep it going. You should be you should be all good. You definitely have everything you need, I think. Oh, you're just probably waiting there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, all good. Now, I also received a comment saying we can actually assign some some vehicles to the stands. Definitely, and that's something that we're probably going to do if we, um, yeah, so refueling is a bit of an issue. Once we get to a bit more um, micromanaging of, of light flights and things like that. So let's just, for the time being, add, no, don't auto assign to a terminal. Add for us some of these, uh, probably two of these Mavericks, please. Okay, and now if I, well, we've gone out of that. Now if I go back to vehicles... I should have um, these fuel. Come on, just switch off all of this and just go for fuel. The, the filtering thing is a little weird. Um, so we've got two unassigned ones. Three unassigned. What? What? M massive amounts of unassigned vehicles here. Okay, well, let's assign one there. So now maybe that was what we had an issue with. So T2... T2, T1. Oh, there's three at T2. So T1 only has... Okay, so let's assign T1. And let's assign T1. T1, T1, T1. T2, T2, T2. T2. And what I'll do is I'll assign this last one to T2 as well. All right, did that work? Let's just double check that. Vehicles. Uh, not assigned, so let's assign that one T2 over here. So I'm assuming that is assigned to the respective terminals. It's the depot, but not necessarily the terminal. So let's double check that from the perspective of this. How many do we have here? Four. And how many do we have there? Three plus. Yeah, that's okay. I think that is in the end what we did end up assigning or trying to assign. Okay. Okay. I think that works. Let's have a quick look what's going on with our money-wise. Uh, so money is doing a decent job. Last hour was good. Um, this is doing well. And our overall budget is up at the 1.5 million. So that should be all good. I also received comments suggesting that you can... Um, oh, that was the police. What? That was the police. So the police car actually does do a, um, a patrol without being set to a patrol. Um, I did receive a comment suggesting that I can, in fact build the upper terminal with uh, in terms of planning without necessarily building the other one so that's uh, something to bear in mind but it doesn't feel quite right to me to be able to do that so 
Now, let's uh, let's see. What else are we missing here? Uh, okay, so what we thought to be doing is taking some of this area down here and using that for lounges and for for lounges and for uh, some some um, some uh, retail facilities and the likes, and then we can actually create more seating space up here. And I think that's going to be a pretty cool use of our areas here. So let's uh, let's see. If we, if we do this, right, I want to make sure it's like they can't cross different zones. So, of course, we need to make this a secure zone first. So, let's grab this as a secure zone, which is all good. I don't mind it. All good. Come on. Secure zone there. And I'm going to open up a little door here for staff only, though. So, let's place ourselves a door which is over here I think that's that's okay uh, actually let's make a big door because that just feels like it's nicer that way now what I do want to do is make sure that we actually dedicate this as a bit of a staff zone I definitely don't want people to be running running down there so if we're going zone staff room staff zone so what I want to make sure we do is Dedicate this as staff zone. So let's uh, let's do a bit of that and a bit of this. So it'll be staff only, basically. Oh, that one created staff only just by by mere virtue of uh, of me selecting it that way. So anyway, so now this is a bit of a staff zone. So hopefully uh, passengers won't be using this section. But now that means we can now. Oh, and I also need to. Make sure that this area is in fact dedicated as or uh, 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 as international zone. So we'll definitely do that. Not that that makes any difference. Okay. So, but what I now can do is um, is link this up. I would like to place you over there, but probably more something like this, right? Yeah, let's do that. One there. And is that, that about right? Yeah, that's about right. One there. And uh, one over here. So why this is being caused a different call, a different international zone, I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, remove the international zoning from it. But I also don't, don't quite get how that would work. Do that one and then at the very end we'll do another one again we'll align them up pretty nicely so there we go so we've got a bit of a, a theme going on here now we've got and staff can obviously come up here as well that's pretty cool now what i also wanted to do is i actually wanted to um wall this in okay that's not what i wanted okay Come on, uh, let's do that and move that up by one. I can't believe I, I was missing it. Now let's remove this one, move that up. Do I need, I probably need to remove this international zone. Well, I'll have a look at that now and right there. Now here, I'm gonna do some fancy lounge work. Um, so let's say, so this is, kind of our starting point here so we can of course um link this uh this walkway that we're building here to to some form of oh we don't have bathrooms so bathrooms could be down here as well we'll have a look at that now uh, we could link this to this to this uh, this terminal access over here, so you could potentially have uh, some sort of security access into there, so that we're kind of joining things up from multiple areas. So I'll just do that and that and close that off. Not that that's going to be very useful. Now, um, the fact that we're crossing international zones, can we? Should we? I don't think we can remove the international zone here, can we? Yeah. See, it doesn't want to work. 
It's saying this object class is different zones, so it's, it's not going to work if we do that. Okay. There we go. So that'll have to do. Um, and I think that's working now. Now all we need to do is figure out how we're going to actually make use of these areas. And I think... Um, You know what I do think is we could run the wall a little bit differently and put some stores and stuff in here and have our lounges. Now, I, I would I'd rather like to do a bit of a arrangement like this, right? If we do pretty large lounges, so if we do something like that, right? Yeah, and unfortunately, you have to make these things square. Okay, I'm, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. Ooh, if I take this out, I'm going to have to redo my zoning, of course. Let's put that back in there. So that's kind of the, the layout that I'm generally keen on on achieving, is something like that. Now, let's, let's have a quick look. So what do we have here? We have shops. Airline lounges and baggage claims and staff rooms and bathrooms. So we do need bathrooms. Now bathrooms is interesting. We could do bathrooms up here. That's okay. I think, yeah, bathrooms up here is going to be fine. Um, and then down here we'll do shops and, and lounges, basically. Yeah, so let's do a shop. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's, I'm going to redo that. I'm going to do about the middle there. About the middle. I'm not going to be too pedantic about it. Um, so how many, which is this? One, two, about one, two, three, four big blocks. One, one two, three, four, five big blocks. So it needs to be somewhere in the middle here. Okay, so let's do a little something like that. Okay. And in this area here, I'm kind of thinking trim this back so that these become our kind of store style areas. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And then we'll have the lounges next to that. Secure zone, please. Come on, click it. Secure zone through there. Secure zone through here. And then international zone through there. And international zone through there. So that's kind of my thinking around this spot. Now, here we can do a lounge, so let's, uh, no, 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 that's not a lounge, this is a lounge, so let's make a nice large lounge there. We will do a bit of a shop in this location, and we will do a little bit of a food allocation. Hmm. Well, let's do a a large food allocation and we'll just do a bit of a seating area in the middle there yeah you're saying you can't get there but I know you can um, in terms of lounge access here I think what we're gonna do is um, allocate a bit of a large door somewhat centrally uh, actually somewhat to the edge there and that's gonna be our access to that lounge so let's go and do a little bit of a lounge setup here first so we're going to do the, the medium access point here, and I'm tempted to do it like that. Okay, then we'll take our decorations here, we'll kind of close it off a bit so people go around that way. Um, from here, I would like to do a little bit of information. Actually, let's do that as the information area so people know that what is kind of going on here and what I'll also do is get a little bit of kind of fancy seating uh, actually let's do a little bit of seating like this um, right there just a little bit of an interesting area for them to sit in. Now, going back to the whole lounge setup, we do need to provide ourselves um, this little buffet setup. Oops, I didn't want to do that. This little buffet setup right over there. That's all good. Um, plus then some other bits and pieces that we're going to need here. So let's do uh, the tables and chairs and things. So 
something like that, tables and chairs, and what we'll do is we'll provide um, this kind of set up through here, so that's all good. So that, that seems reasonable to me. We'll just do the two there and then we'll do a little bit of this. So that lounge should work pretty well. Oh, that, that's okay. That looks pretty cool. Um, a little bit of interest there. Now let's get a couple of possible sofas going on over here. Something like this, maybe. And what I'll do with the sofas is add these in there. Something like that. I think that's pretty cool. And what we'll do is we'll give them a little bit of a, 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 a something over there, and we'll put some some other bits and pieces in here. The final piece that I would like to do is just provide a little bit of room for people to be actually working. And I think this kind of setup is going to be pretty nice. And we'll get ourselves some of these chairs so people can do that. And then the last thing we need to do is provide. Um, plants and flooring. So let's do a little bit of flooring in here. I am kind of tempted to do something like this. So let's indicate it like that, like that through there. That's going to be kind of okay. And then this area at the front here is going to be probably more something like that, I think. There we go, so now you've got some access point. We can provide a little bit of a, a airline facility there. Now, I don't know who's got these things and who doesn't. Um, I believe Allure is pretty new, so let's grab an Allure one. Open that up, we've got people working here. We probably need more staff for that. And in terms of the decoration side of things, um, we do need an Allure. Uh, and I think it's gonna be appropriate to do, ooh, Something like that. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. So now we know that's a lure. People can come pop in, pop out. The staff can get to the staff room, which I like. I like the idea of that. And the, the, the passengers can obviously come down here and, and access it. Now, upstairs, of course, we need to do something quite similar in terms of um, just making sure that we we, uh, we 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 block these off a little bit so it does, doesn't look as weird. And of course we can put some windows and stuff in there to make it seem a bit reasonable. Let's finish that off and that off and that off. Through there. Lots of little bits and pieces for us to be working on. Someone mentioned some, one of these is one off. It's this one. This one is one off. <laughs> uh, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Uh, ooh, not the medium one, it's the short one that we're after. So that's what we're after. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Not one off anymore. Okay, good stuff. Now, there we go. So now that's in place. Um, of course, what we do need to provide is a little bit of a... a, a yeah, that is just about coping, I think. And we may see some delays through there. I haven't seen a delay message pop up yet, so that should be okay. Now, what I do want to do is actually provide um, a very similar kind of walkway style through here. So what I'll do is, come on, I'll do that as a bit of a walkway style. And we can go through the door there. Yeah, I think that's going to be all good. So let's get that all the way to the end. Loop it back, bring it back. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to love this. This is going to be good. And what was the other one? We were doing this one. Yeah, there we go. So let's, let's do that and do that. So now at least we're getting our flooring sorted out over here. Um, it's looking pretty cool, actually. And we can, of course, now funnel funnel people from down here into that, into that, um, into that little walkway or channel. 
Now, what we also are missing here is a little bit of, oh, and that, that squeezes in quite beautifully. I do want to spin it around a little though, I think. Is that about right? Yeah, I think that's about right. Let's uh, squeeze that in there so now people can actually see. What that also means is that we're missing a little bit down there. So I just want to make sure that it goes all the way up to the window. Um, and we can pop a few plants in there, of course. And we probably need a bin or two. Get a bin over here. Yeah, all in all, that's pretty good, I think. So that's the lounge uh, ready to go. Pretty cool allure lounge there. Excellent. Uh, now, what is this? This is a franchise room. That's a franchise room, but we don't know what it's for, right? Um, so let's go with food stuffs. I think this is the food one, right? The blue one, yeah. Now, um, the interesting component here, I think I'm going to do the... Um, the whole setup on this side. So we're going to start off with a large one. We're going to flip it around. I'm going to try and get it fairly central, which is going to be... It doesn't have to be central, though, though. So let's do that, actually. Um, do we do two? Nah, I don't think we do two. And then... Oh, come on. And then we... Try and, yeah, get it around the corner there. We get a bit of a fridge going. There we go. A couple of fridges. We uh, turn the corner again. That's all good. Now, the interesting thing that we could do here is we could do something like this. Provide ourselves with something else in there as well. So let's do a bit of a coffee station. Uh, then we're going to, come on going to turn the corner again and we can we can fill some stuff in those I think we can um, actually we'll, we'll have a look what else we can do here let's get another fridge potentially no that doesn't want to work put a fridge over there and we'll oh crap So instead of that, we're going to have to do a little something like this instead. Come on. Oh, that's a fridge, right? Like get rid of the fridge. We'll get that guy going in there. We'll do that. So it does that as a bit of a normal, normal one. We'll do a bit of this and the runner down there. And of course, here we can do yet another. One of those now what we also need to do is probably provide ourselves with what is that hang on can i just zoom in and see if that actually makes sense a little weird but that's not too bad let's see about squeezing some other bits and pieces in here that's okay what else do we do we need in here we need um cooking stations so i'll go and actually the cooking stations we could kind of do inside That would be awesome. Would that work? That would work as a cooking station. This and that would work as a cooking station. Oh, I love that. That's actually looking pretty reasonable. So a couple of cooking stations there. Now we need to continue to provide um, some fridges. Do wonder if that's enough. And over here, we'll also do a little bit of this. That's probably going to be the gap that we keep open. Uh, we'll put in one more fridge. Uh, that's actually not going to work if we want to make sure we round them nicely around the corner there. So the final thing we're going to do is probably have one of these little snack things happening there. That is interesting that that one looks so different to the others, but I think that's all good. We can add more fridges throughout the, uh, the facility, of course, but we've got the cooking stations now. So I think what would be quite interesting is if we added a couple of, well, obviously up around this side of things could work. We'll add a few there. Yeah. 
and one more. So there, there's a few fridges in there that they can go and pick some stuff up. They can do this here, and maybe that's the way we should we shouldn't be putting them like this. But anyway, that's okay. I think that's going to work quite well. We'll have some staff over here. That's going to be fine. Now we do need to, of course, put some tables and chairs and things in here. So let's grab ourselves one of those. Uh, I'll go with these ones. They look uh, look a little bit interesting. So what we'll do is we'll run some tables and chairs up here. And we won't do it there. So uh, actually, we'll, we'll do a couple all the way there. But then the rest will kind of keep open. So there's some, some interest there. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to grab um, some tables and chairs, of course. Uh, we could... Interestingly enough, we could do a little bit of this, though, and create some booths. Actually, that would be that would be pretty cool if we do that. So let's do this. Actually, that that would be that would be quite interesting. Uh, so let's try and figure out what we're going to do with this. Oh, it's the other way around. Uh, hang on, hang on. I want to do. I want to definitely do the other way. That's the one we're doing instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's better. That's much better. Now let's go with the uh, ooh, 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 standard stuff. Yeah, like so. I'm thinking along the lines of this kind of setup. Oops. One there. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be pretty cool. Yes, 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 and yes. So something like that's going to be awesome. And we'll try the opposite side of things. So not so much the booths, but that's still pretty interesting. Now, of course, what we'll need to do is do some of this stuff. Okay, so we'll do that. Yeah, I think that's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. And then what we'll do is we'll supplement it with some... Some chairs like this. Could even do that. Oops. Turn it, turn it. Excellent. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then what we'll also do is we'll just add some, some normal ones. But what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll do a couple of extended tables like this. Yeah, I like that idea. And then we'll just supplement it with some. Shall we do? Actually, let's do these chairs. Yeah, I like it. That's that's pretty cool. Now, I'm kind of tempted not to do that. But anyway, let's see how that works. People should be able to bypass as appropriate. Get ourselves a couple of windows. And then I think it's kind of what I'm going to kind of try and end this episode. There we go. Do a bit of that. That's pretty interesting. Now we can kind of open this up. So what can we actually squeeze in here? You are missing what? A stove. We can definitely add a stove. A few display fridges, something like that. La French. Let's do this one. I like the idea of that one. Let's do that. And what we'll need to do is provide... Um, they are cooking stations with stoves in them. We need to get some flooring done, though. Flooring will be... Can we do... Um, this seems like a pretty reasonable edge treatment. Even up to there, I think. Well, even if we are doing some other stuff here... Well, let's 
Anyway, we'll, we'll have to double that up. Anyway, that's looking pretty cool. Now, now that we've got the edge treatment, I'm thinking in here, we're gonna do a little bit of this. That, that makes a lot of sense and we'll even do that. So we kind of do that. Excellent, that's pretty cool. And then out in the rest of it, shall we just do something like this? I think so. There we go. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, what we are missing for this, though, is a little bit of a bin or two. Uh, ooh, actually, that's not a, a good spot for a bin. Now we've kind of sorted ourselves out a little bit. There we go. That's, that's a couple of good spots for bins. And what we can do is grab a plant or two as well. Grab ourselves some of these smaller square plants, I think. Square there, square there, and... Yeah, maybe something like that should 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 work quite well. You just clean up the area a little bit. Oh, I like it. People are actually using that quite nicely now. Excellent. Excellent. That's pretty cool. The Allure Lounge, not so much. But anyway, I, I'm liking uh, what we're doing with this. What I also will do is let's quickly just balance out our, our large... Um, so we went about two away. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Let's do that. See how that works. And then we can probably add a medium one. Ooh, I don't like it. A couple of small ones, maybe. Just a single small one. Yeah, something like that. That's okay. It's not exactly symmetrical, but it kind of does, does the trick for us. So there we go, guys. I'm going to kind of end the episode there, which has gone on uh, about the, the right length now. Um, I'm going to end it there. And that is the starting point. All things, yeah, we're um, getting people through there at a kind of reasonable rate, of picking up their stuff. This is a little small. I wouldn't mind expanding that a little bit. And we, we'll probably do that. It's not a big deal for us to do so. Um, are we... What is this guy? I just want to double check. This is an employee. That's an employee. Um, so I'm not too sure why some of these people are saying they're stuck. Couldn't get there? How come? Someone's downstairs and they want to get up, up there? How come they can't get up there? They can just come up here. This is a, this is secure zone, right? just double check that we are actually overlaying secure zone here I'm pretty sure this is secure zone there's nothing wrong with this right yeah they can they should be able to get there uh, it is the closest bar I oh, don't know no. these guys have their own bathrooms so it should be okay uh, we'll do some just general seating in here and then we'll do some shop there but guys that's where I'm gonna leave it thank you so much for watching oh look at that we made a million a million dollars in this uh, in this episode um, of course and we're playing pretty slow and um, and steady game so that's that's all good uh i will see you in the next one if you've enjoyed it please hit that like button leave some comments down below um if you have any ideas for how we further make good use of this bottom area here that would be good uh put them in the comments and i will see you next time Bye bye